For today's video, I wanted to share with you how I cleared my blackheads and actually shrank my pores. I want to show you the three steps and the three products that I used, um, and also kind of explain the science about do pores open and close, and how you can really attack your skin in a more productive way. Now before I actually start talking about products, we do have to address the fact that pores do not actually open or close. There is no muscle in the skin that can open or close pores. And that being said, a lot of people say that they open or close, they really don't. Now, the reason that that's being said is because pores can expand and shrink. And that happens with heat or the lack of heat, aka coldness. Just like water becomes a gas when it's heated, our skin can sort of expand when it's warmer and contract when it's a little bit colder. And that's the idea behind opening and closing pores. Now, also when it comes to that, we have to discuss what is a blackhead, what is a clogged pore. You have to think about your skin as having a bunch of little holes in it, a bunch of little buckets. And when your skin produces sebum, those buckets get filled. Now, the very tops of those are exposed to air. And when that happens, a process called oxidation happens. And that turns the tops of these black, which makes them noticeable and sometimes uncomfortable on our face. And when it comes to getting rid of blackheads, a lot of people try to extract them, which pulls that out. But if we have this empty hole or this empty bucket, our skin can just produce more sebum to fill it up, and then we have more blackheads. So I wanted to share with you what I did to not only mitigate those blackheads and get rid of them, but actually to stop them from coming back. And with over time, you know, I'm not expanding that bucket in my skin, it started to shrink. I also have to say this is a little bit different than how I cleared my chronic severe cystic acne. My severe cystic acne saw a huge difference by the products that I used, the toxins that I used, and the diet that I used. But to be completely transparent, I did not see a huge difference in my blackheads when it came to what I was eating or um, some of the toxins in my environment, which was very interesting. The only dietary correlation that I have personally found to blackheads has been oil. For instance, if I eat a lot of oil, such as olive oil, um, even coconut oil or healthier oils, if I eat those processed oily foods, I do notice that I get a little bit more blackheads. And that is really not definitive, but it's the only correlation I could find. So that being said, what I did to clear my skin did not work for my blackheads. And I did have to resort to using specific products and specific methods in order to clean that up. So the very first product I used was from Murad. This is a pore clearing mask. It's the blackhead remover from Pore Reform. And this actually comes in a two-step kit. I personally don't like the second step. I only like the first step of this. But this has volcanic clay as well as a little bit of pomegranate in it. And it smells amazing. And the way those work is that the clay kind of removes impurities and breaks them down. And the pomegranate is a strong antioxidant that goes in there and breaks down the gunk. Now, you put this on for about 10 minutes and you wash it off with warm water. But just because you break down and loosen up the gunk in that pore, doesn't mean that you're actually getting it out of your skin. So therefore, you do need to do something to extract that. An esthetician can do it, but if you're careful and do it in a sanitary, non-irritating manner, you can do it yourself. I wrap my fingers with paper towels or I use a Q-tip and I use some toner in order to get those out. This is the Glow Tonic from Pixie. I have used this for like four plus years. It is one of my favorite products. And it has aloe vera, ginseng, as well as witch hazel. These are anti-inflammatory and astringents, which means they kind of cleanse the skin and they balance and tone the pH. The pH of our skin is how acidic or alkaline it is, and our skin naturally likes to be around a five. So this kind of helps balance that and really just kind of cleans the pore from the inside out and make sure that when you know, you're extracting that you're not adding bacteria or any pathogens um, that could cause breakouts. Now that being said, when you are extracting things out of the skin, it can be irritating. You are applying pressure, it can cause redness, etc. And once you get that blackhead clog out, again, we have this open bucket. Our skin is just gonna fill that up with more sebum to cause another blackhead. So instead, I fill it up before my skin is able to with a serum. This is one from Cosmetics, which is one of my favorite botanical lines. It's botanical, but it's esthetician grade. This is amazing. This is the Clarity Skin Clarifying Serum. Now this has aloe vera in it, but it's also got salicylic acid, so it's lightly exfoliating. And the aloe vera is very, very hydrating to skin. It's also got tea tree oil in it, which is a natural antiseptic, which again goes into that pore, kind of fills it up so that my skin and my sebum doesn't do that. It's also got an ingredient that isn't listed on the back. It's called, it's not prednisone. Prednisone is a medication. It's perga, pra, ba, 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 something. And it's an ingredient that I was actually not familiar with until trying this product and being introduced to it. 
um, and it's an ingredient I have to do more research on. But the science behind that ingredient is that it actually stops sebum from being produced in the skin and it blunts that production. So over time with doing and using these three things, my skin basically had these buckets that were no longer being filled with oil and plugs. And so therefore, they were able to get smaller and smaller and smaller as I took better care of them and I wasn't constantly stretching them out like a pair of overused underwear if you want a really bad analogy but if it's not constantly being stretched out they were able to kind of shrink up a little bit so now my pores are very very small and my blackheads are almost unnoticeable if they're there at all now one of the problems with that is that when you have a larger blackhead it is easier to get rid of estheticians love big pores because things just pop out of them now as you shrink your pores, shrink your pores, as that happens, you know, there is a smaller opening so that does become harder to extract things out of. And so they are a little bit more prone to clogs and breakouts. Sometimes if I do have issues, I get little bumps, uh, white heads, right here around the sides of my nose, just because that's where some of the oil tends to kind of pocket up if it does happen. And again, that now happens more often than actual big blackheads because my pores are so small. So just keep that in mind as you treat your skin. And remember that even if you're treating your skin, you have to be kind to yourself too. Always express a little bit of self-love and always give yourself a compliment whenever you can. I always say that beauty is not something that we just have. It is something that we learn and it is something that we earn. So I really hope that you learned something valuable here today. Be sure to let me know if you did. And be sure to go out and earn your beauty today by doing something kind for somebody else. My goal is always to help you live beautifully inside and out and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. I'm out here talking about like blackheads and pores and sebum and extracting things and people are just like walking by and like pushing their kids in strollers and they're like, what the hell is this chick doing straddling rocks talking about pimple pus? <laughs> it's the YouTube struggle. This is dedication. This is proof that I love you.